Hi there, Ruben for Native Instruments, and in this video I'm going to walk you through this epic soundtrack cue, written using Symphobia and Symphobia 2, orchestral NKS contact libraries from Project SAM. I've been using these two libraries for years, and they're usually my go-to for full-throated tutti chords and effects, but there's so much more here. From the comprehensive strings, woodwind and brass articulations of the original Symphobia, right through to the legatos and extended techniques of Symphobia 2. Not to mention the themed multis, ideal for orchestral writing on a tight deadline. Both of these collections have recently gone through their biggest update ever, with completely new scripting from the ground up. These updates include a brand new all-in-one design with filtered instrument browsing, 10-slot mixer, tempo syncing, new editing controls, user mappings and additional multis. I'll cover some of these new aspects briefly in this video, but there's also a great standalone video available over on the Project SAM page, so do take a look at that. So let's dive in. Here's the whole cue from start to finish, see if you can spot the influence from a rather famous animated movie. Here's the project, 19 tracks in all with a mixture of section patches, ensembles, multis, legato solos and some effects thrown in here and there. The first thing I want to say is that despite the refresh to a much more fully featured interface, Symphobia is still a really nimble library and it's pretty light on resources. This was actually put to the test halfway through creating this queue when my main writing rig broke down and I finished it off on an old Mac from 2015 with no problems at all. Anyway, enough of my tech issues, let's break down the cue track by track. This multi from Symphobia 2 kicks things off with low strings, whistle, horn and trombone. and later on you lay in pipes. The Symphobia collection is packed full of these pre-orchestrated multis, which lay out instrument combos across the keyboard. These are brilliant for getting down ideas quickly, or conjuring up a specific feel. With NKS integration you can preview little clips, In fact, Symphobia's new all-in-one browser also has clips. Here's 
Here I've adjusted the levels of the different instruments at the bottom. There's another multiplaying later on in the queue, Tension Builder, which is suitably named. Accompanying the multi are a couple of brass patches, horn and trombone sustains from Symphobia 2, and a mixed brass ensemble from Symphobia. These two libraries integrate seamlessly together so that you can augment performances from one library with the other. Looking more closely at the brass, you can see how the new engine now handles articulations and variations, with options to have everything accessible from one large patch. In this case, the many brass articulations are in the centre, accessed by low key switches, and variations selected by upper key switches. In fact, if there's a specific instrument or articulation that you're looking for, choosing one via the library browser is really simple, with everything now categorised. So if you prefer the old way of working with all the articulations split into different patches, you can choose that too. You can actually see that in action with the strings on these two tracks. This one contains just sustained soltasto strings, playing more softly. And then we switch to a mixed string ensemble, initially playing sustains with vibrato. Then later on tremolo. And finally sustains with a fast attack, all controlled by key switch and dynamics with the mod wheel. Symphobia 2 builds on the bread and butter string articulations of Symphobia with more extended techniques, including this super short spiccato. Woodwinds are another good example here, beginning with sustains and then key switching to staccatissimo. Then adding in xylophone for definition. Whilst I'm on the woodwinds, there are a couple of woodwind runs just here. With the Symphobia update, these now automatically tempo sync to your project BPM, with a number of different options. They're available in major and minor, up and down. Adding in these kind of flourishes, rips, hits and stings is essential to keep your own orchestral pieces from sounding too synthetic. You've probably heard these Symphobia effects in hundreds of movies and TV shows without even realising where they came from. Yeah. 
this patch is the real meat and potatoes of the second section of our cue, a full tutti orchestrator with lots of different articulations. Percussion is laid out at the bottom of the keyboard and then the melodic instruments above. With staccatos, the harder you hit the keys, the more powerful the sound. So there's lots of flexibility. If playing chords yourself seems like too much hard work, use the pre-orchestrated chords to add in all kinds of major and minor tutti chord effects just by pressing one key. In fact, that's where many of these patches excel, because the instruments are recorded in the hall, in situ, with authentic voicings. Because all this has worked out for you, you can just get on with composing. For example, Symphobia 2 contains smaller sections string, wind and brass trios. As I've used just here. Symphobia 2 also has the bulk of the legato instruments. These are beautiful, playable patches for thematic writing, and you can find them either in the engine browser or search via NKS. I've used solo French horn, solo flute, and a pre-orchestrated horn, violin and viola combo. Aside from the more traditional orchestral patches, both of these Symphobia libraries have a few hidden tricks. With sound design patches, weird playing techniques and ethnic instruments, this patch fillets out the percussion for slamming drums and rolling cymbals. So that was a quick run through the instruments and patches. For the composition itself, there are a couple of tempo and time signature changes and a few modulations to keep things interesting. I've tried not to overwrite and use too many simultaneous patches, as many of the Symphobia orchestrations are already more than enough to fill out the piece. Behind the scenes, there's lots of volume automation to help the ebb and flow of the cue, especially as the first section is far less energetic than the second, so I've used volume to keep the dynamic range in check. On the master bus, it's just a small amount of additional reverb from Native Instruments Realm. You can see the settings here. And then my favourite mastering plugin, Isotope Ozone, smoothing things out with a few EQ changes and limiting. I hope you've enjoyed this track breakdown. 
For more information about Symphobia and Symphobia 2, including the latest updates, check out the NKS Partner Shop, nativeinstruments.com. Thank you.